Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and today we're building our very own aquarium. Now, this is a new tycoon game that's coming out, Mega Aquarium. Uh, it's coming out on September the 13th, and I, I did actually manage to get access to an early copy of the game so we can check it out uh, and see how the gameplay is. Now, this is a tycoon-style game where we're building a, a public aquarium that people can come and join and can sort of enjoy the fish and explore and everything, and we have to try to manage uh, all our displays and manage all the aquarium and the staff and keep the, the people happy and everything. But let's just, just jump straight into it. We're going to start a new game out and uh, just dive right into the gameplay. Welcome to Sunnyside. You've been tasked with building a small aquarium from scratch here at Sunnyside. Before the investors release any funding, they want to make sure you can handle the basic controls. So this is sort of the, their tutorial level, basically, that's going to give us sort of a sense of what we're building in here. Uh, and over here on the right is our objective, so this is the kind of stuff we have to do. Oh, oh, hover over the info button. That was easy. Pan the camera. We can do that. Uh, orbit the camera. We got zoom camera in and out, and then uh, return to home. Uh, I guess there's probably have to hit the home key. Ha! Ah, there we go. <laughs> Look at that. We make money easy in this game. Time to build. Great stuff. You've just unlocked your first uh, round of funding for your aquarium. Use the money to get the basic requirements of your aquarium set up. These are covered in the new set of objectives you've just been given. By the way, if you need to review the list of uh, this list, oh, man. By the way, if you need to review this or any other messages, you can use the button in the bottom left of the screen. All right, that's fine. So we need to build a basic tank. Over here on the left-hand side is the stuff that we can build uh, and also the things that we can actually populate our tanks with because we have to like do little decorations and stuff for our fish too to make sure they're all happy there. We're going to start off first with a basic fish tank, uh, and I guess we will set this right here in the corner because why not? I don't know how big we should make it, but uh, we have to build two tanks. So we're going to build basic tanks here by the door. Not too huge. Uh, we need to attach basic filters to each. Those can be found in the item stuff. I don't even know what this, this particular menu is called, but it's the stuff. The things for the buildings of things. <laughs> so we need a basic filter for each one. That's easy enough. And then we need a basic heater for each one as well, because I guess these are tropical fish. So we might want to make sure they stay toasty and warm. All right, uh, add some Azure Damoiselles, Azure Damoiselles to each tank. Uh, so these are the fish that we can get over here. Now, we're just starting out, so of course there's a lot we have to unlock. Um, and then there's a lot of detail that gives you about the type of fish near here too. So tropical, this tank's temperature must be greater than or equal to its water tank thing. I don't know. Uh, requires water quality of 50%. This animal eats orange pellets, so we'll have to have a way to feed the fish, of course. Size, this is the amount of space that the animal takes up, so it takes up two. Uh, we earn two ecology points for having the fish in there, and then we get prestige points for when guests go and visit them, too. But we'll put some some of these in here. I mean, I don't, I don't really know how many we need. We need them in each tank, I guess, so... Sure, why not? I mean, I guess probably more fish is better, right? We'll, get them up. we'll max them out. Get them all up to 12. Add some decorations to your tank, too. So th these are the decorations down here. We can do sea lettuce and small rocks. So we'll get some. We'll put some rocks in here. We'll get some sea lettuce in here. Now, it's showing that we don't actually need sea lettuce for these particular type of fish, but that's okay. It doesn't hurt to have that there. Um, let's see. Build an orange pellet dispenser. All right. Uh, orange pellets. Those got to be down here, right? There we go. Orange pellet dispenser. We also got like a tool station we can put into place here. I don't know where I should put this. Maybe we'll just stick it like right in the middle. Stick it in the middle, and then we figure whoever's working there has an easy way to get to it, and they can take it to each tank. It's kind of in the middle. It's probably in the it's kind of in the way. It's in the middle of the floor, but hopefully we don't get like a negative decor kind of thing for that. We also need to build a tool station, so I'll just make that right on the reverse side of this. All right. And uh, we need to hire an aquarist. I think that's how you say that. Staff, fitness of seven, precision two, empathy three, memory two, charisma two. Now, I don't know how these actually impact the, the gameplay exactly. That's something we'll have to kind of figure out as we sort of play along. But we also have feeding and fixing as uh, two skills that are available there. Um, feeding and fixing. I feel like, well, they're kind of the reverse of each other, right? So we've got Harry. We've got Anna. And it doesn't look like I can change their name. Can I manage them? No. It's kind of hoping I can rename them, but that's okay. Uh, let's take Anna. She's, she's a little bit better at feeding, and so far that's all we have to do, I guess. Basic feeding skill, 20. Get nothing from empathy. Minus 2 from precision. Minus 1 from empathy. 
Uh, I don't know how that works. Whatever. Let's hire Anna. All right, Anna. You got a job? Hope you do it well. I guess we have to open the aquarium. So we click down here to open the aquarium. Hey, we have our first guests. Your first guests. Well done. Your basic aquarium is up and running, and your first guest has arrived. Whenever a guest enters the aquarium, they'll pay some money. ka -ching! That's what we're talking about. Give me all that cash. In addition, as they experience your displays, they'll reward you with ecology points, which can be used to unlock new animals for your aquarium. So that's good. Give me lots of that. Oh, got some already. Pick your next ecology project. So we only have one available to us. The Orchid Dotty Back. Sure. We'll bring you in. Great job. You've started to research new animal, the Orchid Dotty Back. As you earn more ecology points, you make progress toward unlocking it. So down here we've got well, plus one. Plus one ecology points, which doesn't seem all that awesome. What is this down here? Prestige rank. All right, prestige rank one. Guest thoughts. I really like that Asher Demoiselle, says the one guest we've had. This super popular aquarium here. We've got two guests. <laughs> but in all fairness, we have we have about as much fish as the local local pet store, so I guess that's not really that awesome. New animals unlocked. Okay, so we have the orchid dotty back now. You've just unlocked the orchid dotty back. Now it's time to buy some for your aquarium. Follow the remaining objective to expand your livestock range. Uh, pause the game. Oh, we got that down. That's easy enough. The same as most games. You hit spacebar to pause. Expand your floor space. Click and drag. Uh, all right. So up at the top here is where we can do the expanding of things. We have like stairs, platforms, walls and stuff. Filling in floors. We can move things around, demolish stuff. So let's go ahead and expand our floor. Ooh, it goes to top down view. Um, moving decorations animals. Did you know you could move animals and decorations between tanks? All right. It's good to know, I guess. I feel like I want to have... I don't know which way to go with it. How do, how much does this add when I click on it? Oh, it adds... Oh, man. Oh, I see. The Only the center part's the floor. Oh, man. That's... Okay. Probably should have designed that a little differently. So let's go that way. Open this up. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, actually. How much did I add on there? Four tiles, I guess. I feel like maybe... Maybe I should make it more than four. One, two, three, four, five, six, ah, eh, seven, whatever. We'll have three more on here. No, no, no. Nope. All right, found out how to cancel stuff. Okay, that gives us uh, a fair amount more space. It's still kind of a weird shaped aquarium because it's only like one big room, but uh, that should be all right. Practice moving a tank. Uh, do I have to? I mean, I kind of like where these are placed right now. Hey, we moved a tank. Congrats to us. Uh, and then we add, have to add some orchid dotty backs. So let's let's make another tank over here. Like that, I guess. I kind of want to do the same thing on the other side. We'll do one, two, three. For all of you who enjoy watching the games, who have maybe a touch of OCD, I'll try to keep you all satisfied. I'm gonna put these out of the way so it's not in the where the guests are like hanging around with this stuff. Move all that around. Uh, and then we'll need basic filters for these tanks. Throw heaters on them. And then we'll get right to the orchid dotty backs. Uh, I put too many in there, did I? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, we maxed it out. Different gear requirements. You may have noticed a set of icons attached to each animal you, s you research and acquire. These are known as the animal's care requirements. Failure to meet these will reduce the health of your animals and could lead to death. Oh, we don't want that. Your investors have arranged for you to have a new fish called a half and half chromis. Let's take a look at his care requirements. Um, da, da, da. It's a shoulder, so it means it needs a minimum number of its own kind. Okay. Demonstrate your understanding and care requirements by satisfying the requirements for the half and half chromis in a new tank. All right. So let's go ahead here. Uh, this tank is set up for some stuff. Oh, well, we didn't put any decorations in this tank over here. I feel like we should give these guys at least something to hang out with. Give them some little little sea lettuce and some rocks, maybe. I don't know what that gear icon thing is. Currently have two in your aquarium. 17. Is that like the maintenance requirement on it? 16 because there's less stuff in it? Maybe, maybe. All right. Half and half chromis. Uh, needs 50% water quality. They eat orange pellets. Shoulder needs to be in a group of at least four half and half chromis. 
Each one takes up three space. So oh, this tank can hold 12, so we have just enough to put the four in here. Like so. Rank it up. Uh, now you got a few different species of fish in your aquarium. You should be able to rank up soon. Ranking up will instantly unlock new equipment, decorations, and facilities and increase the repertoire of animals which are available to research. There's more. The higher rank, the more guests you attract, the more they're willing to pay you to enter your aquarium. Ranking up occurs as a result of generating prestige points. Those are whenever guests come in to view your stuff and they do all your things and junk. 10 out of 10, rank up. Aquarium rank level two. Uh, that gives us some driftwood cave. Combo mini. Uh, heating and filtering saves you space and maintenance, but it's only suitable for the smallest of tanks. Okay. And staff door. And then we have the king, the king demoiselle. I wonder how much the combo mini actually provides in heating and filtering. Now rank two, have access to number of animals. Gonna unlock them at it one at a time. All right, good deal. Pick your next ecology. Well, we only have one choice, the king, king demoiselle. Got some fancy prestige going on there. Okay, let's, let's try out these new fancy heater things. Combo mini. Provides 18 temperature, which is what this does. Costs 90 for maintenance, and it does filter power of 16. Okay. So it does the same thing as the... Oh, you know what? That's kind of cool. Give me the combo mini, please. Does that mean I can get... Can I get rid of these things? Fix it? Remove it? How do I get rid of it? Oh, I probably have to demolish it. I was kind of hoping to get... Oh! Click the cell. Okay, we can get money back. That's good. We're going to use the combo minis on all these things. We'll save time, effort. Whoops. Change my overlays. Uh, we'll save time, effort, and energy. No, uh, I kind of made too many there. Okay. This, this one could move. Jackpot. 30%. Oh, 30% of guests experience tank 3 during their visit. 100% this one, 100% that one. It makes sense because it's right at the door. We don't really have any flow to our aquarium here. People come in and sometimes they wander to one side and sometimes they wander to the other, but the fish aren't really getting the best attention. Only 27% for that now. 55% over there. Okay. Oh, those other ladies are handy. Okay. What's this one here? Toggle point totals. Cool. This tank's really boring looking at. It's got like nothing in there. Let's throw these guys into the little driftwood cave. I mean, I can't really use it, but maybe it'll make things a little prettier. We're busy researching this other fish, so we can't do much there. I kind of feel like we should make our aquarium a little bit bigger. We do have an employee door now, which I guess we can, means we can make an employee area. I suppose. I mean, we can actually, we could block these off and put employee areas for all these things. Like if we like, go something like this. I can do two little employee areas here. And again, I have no idea whether this is gonna make any difference at all, staff door. So then only our staff people get back where the heater thing is. How about you guys get out from there? Can I pick you up? Tell me I can move you. Oh, I can move you. Ah, good. Get out of there. You guys don't work here. Uh, we do have a lot of tanks now, too, so I, I probably should consider hiring another employee. I mean, it's only four tanks, but... It's really hard to tell whether they're getting an appropriate amount of feed and things. That's toggle guest needs. I mean, I, I guess they're doing alright? I mean, it's... I can't really tell if we're falling behind or not. New animals unlocked. King Demoiselle. Uh, wimp cannot be housed with a bully. Oh, okay. Well, that's a thing, I guess. Acquire at least one kingdom was all meet all requirements of the kingdom was all. You've unlocked the king des demoiselle. Let's take a look. Uh, it's a timid beauty. In other words, a wimp. Don't house with any animals with a bully tag. All right, that's fine. You know what? I think I kind of want to. I was thinking I could put like feeder containers in each side over here so we can block them out of the way of the gas, but I, I think we'll be okay. Let's uh, let's make the floor in here bigger. Let's make it a lot bigger. We're gonna need room to expand here anyway, so this probably cost me a little bit. Where's my money? $3,200. Is that how much I have or how much I'm earning? Well, this is my cash flow. Entrance tickets. Ooh, I spent a lot of money on that expansion. <laughs> that may have been ill-advised. 
maybe. Uh, okay, so what I was thinking is I could do like an employee thing in the middle here. Where we could put the feeders and stuff in there. Uh, but I kind of want to have it behind a tank. So let's let's take these. Come on, move, move that over there. Uh, we'll get basic tanks. Can we put like three tanks together here? Is that going to work? Yeah, something like that. And then we'll turn this into like an employee space by throwing walls in here. Like that. Throw a door on either end. Find out we're all out of money and we can't do anything else. Wouldn't that be wonderful? <laughs> Uh, we'll have our food pellets. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna make a couple of these things. So let's let's grab this, put it over there, and we'll do orange food pellets down here too. Maybe some orange food pellets in here. It's hard to see you there. Okay, there we go. Put that like right in the middle. Uh, this workbench, I'm gonna move it around. And then we're gonna use the combo mini things to kind of heat all, heat and purify these three tanks. Oh man, that's made that a little crowded. That was maybe ill-advised. This tank in the middle is actually kind of an issue. I, I don't really have a space there, uh, so let's demolish this a little bit. Uh, we're gonna throw an extra wall in here. Like that, and then we can throw uh, a little combo mini in. Where is it? Where are you? There we go. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> well, maybe not perfect, perfect, but I mean, it's starting to look like a thing. Like a, like stuff that people can come in here and do things. These tanks on the ends are kind of, they're a little bit hidden. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I like how I have that set up. But if we can get some flow going in here, then that might work. Uh, let's take the center tank here. We're going to put some wimps in here. Um, those are the King Demoiselles. They take up two slots each. This tank's capable of holding 18 fish. That's interesting. Did I just run out of money? What happened here? Uh, King Demoiselle. There we go. Okay, so we're not going to completely fill it up because those are, those are tiny little fish anyway. What are their requirements here? Orange pellets, everything seems to be fine. Okay, so that's good. That's giving us a little bit of stuff there. Oh, we can go down here and work on our next Arabian Blue Line Dotty Bag. Now this one is a bully, it'll pester the wimps. So we have to be careful of this one. We can't have it in the same tank as those wimpy ones we just got. Require at least one Arabian, Arabian Blue Line Dotty Bag. You know requirements of the Arabian Blue Line Dotty Bag. Okay, so we pretty much just need these guys to hurry up. So we do our research. Bring us the cash. We need all your monies. Let's see how, how stuff getting viewed here. It's funny, this tank's like right in front of the door. You'd, you'd think it would be like guaranteed good visibility, but apparently not so much. Um, maybe it needs more decorations. I don't know. New animals locked. Arabian blue line dotty back. Okay, so we can put those into a tank. Uh, let's grab this one here. Again, these are bullies, so we don't want to be... We can put them next door, but we won't put them in the same tank. Yellow Tang is our next research. This one requires plants. So we're going to have plants inside the tank in order for it to be happy, I guess. And it requires 60% water quality, which is a little higher than some of the other tanks. Um, Arabian Blue Line Dotty Bag. I was putting some more of those in. All right, that's good enough in there. Now, they don't have... Oh my gosh, things are unlocking fast. Oh, I've, I've still got enough fast forward. <laughs> New animals unlocked, yellow tang. Uh, you've unlocked the yellow tang, let's take a look. The yellow tang has a higher water quality requirement than other animals, therefore you may, uh, you may need to have more filters or less fish in the tank. Notice they also eat a different type of food than your other animals. Make sure you build a green pellet dispenser. Okay, so that's good to know. Let's, uh, let's slow this down a little bit. Okay, I did make room here, actually, where we could put another food dispenser, so that's convenient. Green pelt dispenser can go right in here. If I can get it to work. There we go. 
Uh, we're gonna put the the fish in this tank on the end. Yellow tang. 60% water quality. I'm gonna put three of them in there. Um, they do need plant life. Oh, it's actually, it even shows you the requirement for the number of plants, so that's fine. We, we'll give them a little bit extra. And then, uh, just for the sake of decorations, we'll give them some rocks, too. Give these guys some rocks. Why not, right? Gotta make it look at least a little bit nicer in there. Ooh, this one's only water quality... Lower water quality is reducing the health of the animals in this tank. And this one's 52 of 50. So both of these have water quality that's a little bit too low. So I'm gonna take... What's this tank at capacity-wise? 18. Um, maybe I shouldn't have sent quite so many. Can I... Click to sell this and contents. No, I don't want that. How do I... Can I just sell the fish? Can I drag them out and drop it on the floor? Is that an option? <laughs> Can we get better quality by dropping them on the floor? Temperature's fine, but not the water quality. So I guess we're going to need the basic filter in here. What happened? <laughs> there we go. It just deselected things on me. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, this one needs to shift over. All right, there we go. So they have room to get in there and feed them. Black Bar Soldier Fish, rank two. Uh, dislikes light. Cannot be housed in a tank with lights attached to it. Okay. And this one also likes to have a cave to hide in. Oh, choose now. Okay, so that's our next research project. Uh, only 11% for this tank, but I did just put the stuff in there. 100% for all these ones. These fish are hungry. We definitely need uh, another employee now because they're not keeping up. This is uh, Now I see how I can tell when they're falling behind. Uh, so let's hire another employee. All right, we have Harry. He makes $17 a day. He's good at fixing things. $16 a day for Wade. Wade's bright marine biologist graduate who can learn to work equally well with machines and animals. Harry used to work in an aquarium shop, so he's familiar with the basis of keeping an aquarium running. I mean, neither one of these seem like sterling choices, but... Ooh, I do like the precision, empathy, and memory on this guy. His fitness not so great. Determines natural talent for cleaning in the gift shop. Also determines the movement speed of your staff. Wade has a speed of 69%. <laughs> 69%. for Harry. I'm going to take him. He's a little bit more expensive. And he doesn't have all the empathy and stuff. I know, whatever. Let's just hire everybody. Hire them all. What's the worst that can happen? We go to business? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> New animals unlocked. Black bar soldier fish. All right, so we're gonna need more tank space because these other tanks are all kind of full. You've unlocked black bar soldier fish. Uh, they're nocturnals. They like to have a cave to hang out in. That's okay. We have one of those available. When you reach rank two, you unlock the driftwood. That's right. Yada yada yada. I also don't like lights, so we can't have them in the tank with lights. So obviously you don't want to put put them in the same tank with fish that require lights because they're not going to get along too well, right? I guess that makes sense. I wonder, can you make like really weird shaped tanks? No, it looks like it's, no, I guess they're pretty much always squares. Hopefully at some point in the future it will give us like the ability to make, make some weirder tanks. Weird being the scientific term, of course. You know, you know what? Just continue with the OCD lessons over here. We'll this over here. Because I almost dropped that guy in the tank. There we go. Um, where do I want to put the filtration stuff for this? Throw combo mini around back, I guess. That takes care of that. Um, now, what was the fish we unlocked? Oh, the black bar soldier fish. We got everything else. Uh, okay, so we'll stick that in here, I guess. Put two of them in there for now, I guess. Give them a little bit of a hiding hole. All right, so we, we provided three, I guess that, that little log provides space for a three fish to hide. One of your guests was growing tired. Build some benches so they have somewhere to sit and rest. You'll find them in the facility section. All right, I guess that makes sense. Facilities. That's not it. There it is, benches. 
10 bucks. All right, put a couple benches in here. I guess that gives coverage to the whole area so that people have places to sit. That works. Uh, we can put in more benches and stuff later. I love the way you can like maneuver this around and check everything out. Look at that, our thriving little, our thriving little fish tropolis. Such as it is. It'll get bigger. We'll get some cooler stuff in here. So far, it's all just fish, but I really want to look forward to getting stuff like, I don't know, like dolphins and sharks and things. Octopi. Broken equipment. One of your equipment is broken down. This will cause it to slowly lose effectiveness over time. Staff member with a fixing roll will automatically retrieve a toolkit and remedy the problem. Uh, if many pieces of equipment fill at the same time, you want to consider hiring more staff. All right. I guess that makes sense. If you want to be all efficient and stuff. Some of these, like, this is kind of a weird place to have these little filter things out here. It's nice I got these ones sort of tucked away, but these ones done so much. Oh, we got two machines broken. Okay, we have three staff. I mean, I feel like they should be going to fix it. I don't think I have to tell them. Oh, we have to build another bench. Yeah, drat. Thought we could get away. Get away easy. Uh, we'll put one right here in the middle. There's nothing says interrupted tra traffic glow, like throwing a bench right inside the front door. Aquarium's looking great. Your final challenge is to reach a target amount of prestige and maintain it for a period of time. Okay, so we have to get to... Oh, man, we're already way up there. Earn 114 prestige out of 80 is our goal. We definitely have the prestige in place already. We just have to hold it for a couple minutes. Uh, I guess we can fast forward. Yeah, perfect. All right, we're just raking in the dough. Okay, I found a problem. We got 41 seconds left, and it's drifted. All our prestige is drifted all the way down to like 80. Which isn't great. Uh, maybe if we put some additional fish in here, we can... We can increase that. Uh, let's put let's put more of these guys over here, too. Maybe we can get our prestige up just by throwing more stuff in. I don't, I don't know if that's how that works. Oh, oh, we got it. <laughs> it. It dipped, like, right down and landed on 80. And I think we had to keep it above 80. But that's all right. 10 seconds left. It's like it's moving at hyper speed, so we're good. We kept it above the 80 mark for the full time period, so we're good. You win! You built Sonic Sign up to a great little aquarium, and people started to take notice. You received a job offer for a little uh, to run a larger aquarium over in North Woods. You can continue to build here at Sunny Sign for as long as you want. This message will stay in your message, yada yada, when you're ready to move on to the bigger one. You know what? Let's take the job at North Woods, and we'll see what we can do over there to help them out. Uh, so there's North Woods. We'll move on to that aquarium. Welcome to North Woods. You've been tasked with refurbishing this old aquarium. It already has several tanks, some decorations, even a couple of surviving fish. <laughs> a couple of surviving fish. That sounds fantastic. The aquarium is healthy, uh, has a healthy source of ecology points, but uh, these only unlock new animals. To unlock other things, you need science points. Science points are used to unlock new, new pieces of equipment, tanks, and facilities for your guests. Both these, types, uh, both these points are crucial to running a successful aquarium. Make sure you have an adequate supply of both. All right. So we're taking over a new aquarium. Uh, we're going to tackle this aquarium next time. And we'll see how we can make out here. Uh, if you are interested in picking up Mega Aquarium yourself, it'll be out on September 13th. Uh, you can get that on Steam. I'll have a link in the description below where you can go check that out. Uh, if, you, uh, if you do like this game, if you'd like to see a lot more of it, make sure you leave a comment down below so that I know how you feel about it. Uh, and we'll uh, we'll maybe play it a little bit more and see how uh, see how it goes with building our next aquarium and hopefully we can turn this one into a thriving and profitable business as well. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.